Zexar the Exemplary. Holy cow. Death Touch. Tap it to add two mana of any one color. And whenever you cast a spell with X in its mana cost, you create a zero zero Hydra with X plus one plus one counters on it. Zexar is awesome. And uh, I don't know. Let's, let's see what we're going to do to win with this deck. So first off, I've got a Torment of Hailfire. You know, of course... It's an X spell, and we make a big Hydra. So even if we don't kill everybody with it, uh, we're still going to have a probably big Hydra. Um, but yeah, you repeat the following process X times. Each opponent loses three life unless they sack an armament permanent or discards a card. It's I've, I've died to Torment of Hailfire more than <laughs> I should have, I feel like. So next, of course, is Freed from the Real. If you enchant Zaxara with it, you can actually tap it for infinite blue mana, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. And then with that blue mana, you can cast something like the next card, Biomass Mutation. Creatures using control base power on top of this XX until end of turn. And look, another Hydra, because it's an X spell. Now, there's going to be like 38 or 40 or so X spells in the deck, so just keep your eye out for them. What would a Hydra deck be without Gargos, Vicious Watcher? You know, Hydra's cost four less to cast. Come on, that's that's so incredible. <laughs> and then whenever a creature you control becomes the target of a spell, Gargos fights up to one target creature you don't control. Oh man, Gargos is so cool, I love him. Then we've got a heavy hitter, Mist Cutter Hydra. Just a classic Hydra, but it can't be countered. And it has haste and protection from blue. Wow, that one's actually pretty awesome. I, I love that one and it's just so easy to cast. Primordial Hydra, same thing, enters with X counters on it, but at the beginning of your upkeep, you doubled the number of plus and plus and counters on Primordial Hydra. Also has trample as long as, as it has 10 or more count, plus and plus and counters. This one just, I, I don't even need to say anything about this one. All right, next set, we've got Stump Squall Hydra, Hydroid Crasis, and Voracious Hydra. All of them, of course, you know, the X Hydra spells. When Stump Squall enters, you distribute X counters among it and any number of commanders. Uh, Hydroid Crasis, when it enters, you gain X half of X life and draw X half, half of X cards. <laughs> uh, it's got Flying and Trample. Yeah, Hydroid Crasis is just super legit. And Voracious Hydra has Trample, enters with X counters on it, and when it enters, you can either double the number of counters on it or have it fight a creature you don't control. Next, we've got Vastwood Hydra, Lifeblood Hydra, and Hooded Hydra. So they all do the same things, you know, like enter with X counters, whatever, but then when they die, they do something. So when Vastwood Hydra dies, you may distribute any number of plus and plus encounters equal the number of counters on Vastwood Hydra among any creatures you control. Lifeblood Hydra, when it dies, you gain life and draw cards equal to its power. And then Hooded Hydra is when it dies, you make a 1-1 snake for each plus and plus encounter on it. Hungering Hydra and Protean Hydra. Hungering Hydra can't be blocked by more than one creature. And when it's dealt damage, you put that many plus and plus encounters on it. And Protean Hydra, when it's dealt damage, you prevent that damage and remove that many plus and plus encounters on it. And then whenever a plus and plus encounter is removed from it, you can put two more on it for each of those counters. Steelbane Hydra. This one, of course, you've got to have in here because it doubles as your X spell. Actually, it triples as your X spell and a Hydra, and then you can remove a counter from it to destroy an artifact or enchantment. Steelbind Hydra is so good. And the last X Hydra spell here is Capricopian. It's a goat Hydra, which is pretty dope. And when it enters, it enters with X counters on it, of course. But then you can pay two and put a plus and plus and counter on it, and then you can reselect which person it's attacking but only the player it's attacking can activate this ability so this is a very political piece that i that i really like okay next is just some creatures that are not hydras but they do have x in the cost uh we've got endless one and stone coil serpent each of them enters just with x plus one plus one counters always enters on curve cast it with one counter you can cast it with 10 doesn't matter. And then Stone Coil Serpent also has Reach, Trample, and Protection from Multicolored. And then we have Hangerback Walker. It's actually an XX spell, so it enters with X plus and plus one counters on it. And then when it dies, you make a Thopter for each of those counters. And then it can put counters on itself. And then we have Altered Ego. It's just a clone spell, basically. And then it can't be countered. And it's an X spell. And then it can enter as a copy of any creature, except it enters with an additional X plus one plus one counters on it. So uh, make it a, another Hydra, maybe. And then you've got a bunch of them. These are our helpy outy spells here <laughs> that uh, just kind of help move the deck along with uh, powers and toughnesses and counters and all that stuff. So first of course is hardened scales. Whenever one or more plus one plus one counters being a component of a creature, you put that many plus one. So then all your hydras enter one bigger. Exponential growth. Of course it's an X spell and then you double target creature's power X times. So you make the hydra and then something else becomes really really big. Fractal harness. 
It's actually pretty neat. When it enters, you make it a 0-0 zero, zero fractal and then put X counters on it. So, of course, an X spell. But then whenever a equipped creature attacks, you double the number of plus one plus one counters on it. So it could be that fractal. It could be one of those million hydras that we're going to be making. Or, you know, whatever. Vigor. Vigor is such a broken card, and I and I love it. And it's kind of got a Darth Vader helmet shell, which, it, which is pretty great. Um... <laughs> Whenever damage will be dealt to a creature you control, you prevent it and then put that many plus one plus one counters on it. The, you, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I have to say. Unbound Flourishing, of course. This is probably the best card in the deck. Whenever you cast a permanent spell with a mana of cost that contains X, you double the value of X. Come on. D what? That's so good. And then whenever you cast an instance or sorcery or activate an ability, if it had X in its cost, you copy it. Now you're copying all your Hydras, and then you're making additional Hydras with Zexara. And wow, it's, it's so good. Here's some more spells that are going to help us out with our overall general deck. So we've got the Ozolith, of course, whenever a creature leaves the battlefield if it can have counters on it you put it on the ozolith and then you distribute those counters to the creature basically anything that dies in this deck is just all their counters are going to go to the ozolith and then you just redistribute it's it's very good wildest dreams another x spell i like it better than e witness in this deck because it has x in the cost so you're still getting a creature with it and then you can turn X cards from your graveyard to your hand. And so X can be more than one, which is really nice. Evolution Sage. Whenever land enters the battlefield, you proliferate. Probably a terrible accent. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just make all your things bigger on landfall. Tusk Guard Champion. If all your creatures have trampled with, with plus one, plus one cameras on them. Villainous Wealth. This one might seem a little bit out of uh, touch with the whole theme. But it is an X spell. And then you can kind of throw opponents off. And you can cast any number of spells with CMC X or less. Without paying their mana cost from the cards you exiled. And you still get a Hydro from it. And then we've got Diabolic Revelation. X and basically five mana. Search your library for X cards and put them in your hand. And then shuffle. Next is what I call the Flex Spot. So there's some cards in here that kind of flex to fit multiple purposes. That's his intervention. Of course, it's an X spell. You can look at the top X cards of your library, put two of them into your hand, and put the rest in the bottom. Or you can counter a spell unless this controller pays twice X. So it works as a counter spell or kind of like maybe dig for an answer type spell. Anyway, that one's, that one's a pretty neat flex. All right, next is Sultai Charm. This one's pretty great because you can choose any one of any one of the three you can destroy a monocolored creature destroy an artifact or enchantment or draw two cards and discard a card profane command again we've got an x spell target player loses x life return target creature with cmc x or less from your graveyard to the battlefield and then you know you could or you could do target creature gets minus x minus x or you could do up to x creatures gain fear so <laughs> until end of a turn i i love profane command just in general and I don't feel like I use it enough, but I really do love this card. Next we have some destruction, and I feel like there's a little more destruction than I usually put in, but that's only because this deck is going to be highly creature-based, so we got to take care of everybody else's stuff pretty quick. Putrefy, of course, you've got destroy target artifact or creature, can't be regenerated. Classic. Next we have Condescend and Logic Knot, counter target spell unless this controller pays X, and Condescend you make lets you scry to and logic not lets you delve death wind target creature gets minus x minus x until end of turn stolen by the fey return target creature with cmc x to its owner's hand and then you create x one one fairies with flying windstorm x in a green windstorm does x damage to each creature with flying and none of these hydras are going to have flying so windstorm very valuable killing wave for each creature its controller sacrifices it unless they pay x life that includes you but i feel like this deck gets subject to a lot of board wipes <laughs> or just destruction in general so it's hard to keep your hydras out so if you don't have many creatures out you can just cast killing wave and then everybody else has to suffer and then we have gaze of granite destroy each non-land permanent with mana value x or less you, you can't beat that in this x thing card draw where where would it, where would this x deck be without some x card draw commander's insight mind spring and blue sun zenith they all do the same thing draw x cards but then commander's insight also draws you an additional card for each time you've cast a commander from the command zone and then blue sun zenith shuffles into its owner's library next is pull from tomorrow which is the exact same thing but you draw x cards and then discard a card and then of course we've got damnable pack and cut of the profits both are the exact same basically target player draws x cards and loses x life and then cut the Prophets also has Casualty 3, so you can do it again. Growth Spiral, I, I don't know, maybe not much imagination went into this one, but you should draw a card and then put a land from your hand on the battlefield. Harmonize, of course, draw three cards, 
can't go wrong. Beast Whisperer and Garruk's Uprising. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card, and then whenever a creature with power four greater enters the battlefield and control, draw a card. Plus, it gives your Hydra's Trample. Do need some protection. There's not much protection in here, but we do have a couple things. We've got Snakeskin Veil, uh, just for one green in an instant. Put a plus and plus on counter on target creature, and then it gets Hexproof until end of turn. I like that one because it specifically puts a plus and plus on counter on things. And then we've got Lazatep Plating. You amass one, but whatever about that. But you and Permanence, you control again Hex proof until end of turn so that's very valuable ramp i'm not even going to go through some of these I'm just they're just kind of going to float on the screen here ordeal of nylea that one's going to put plus and plus encounters on things so that's kind of nice i will go through these last ones because they're kind of different kind of interesting i've got zagoth crystal in mine but that's mostly for flavor it's not the best mana ramp type thing but it does have cycling and it taps for the soul tie colors zaxara's from zagoth I believe so. I just I just like this one. Uh, Fertilid, of course, got counters on it. You can remove plus and plus and counters on it to search for lands. Elementalist's palette. I feel like this one kind of gets looked over because there's just a bunch of wordings. Doesn't really feel good in any other deck. But with this deck, whenever you cast a spell with X in its mana cost, you put two charge counters on it. It taps for any color of mana, and then it also taps for colorless to spend on X spells. So it just gets bigger every time you cast an X spell. And then Animist's Awakening. You have to have this one in the deck. You real top X card of your library put all lands onto the battlefield from among them tapped and then shuffle your library if you've got spell mastery you untap those lands so nothing wrong with this plus you get a hydra if you've got zexara out and finally i'm actually going to mention a couple lands orn reef the vastwood enters tapped but you can tap it to put a plus and plus encounter on each green creature that entered this turn novigen heart of progress can put a plus and plus encounter on each creature that entered the battlefield this turn and then of course the lair of the hydra this one's a great new addition it's got hydra in the name but then you can you can basically turn it into a hydra for the turn which is just great utility as always so anyway that's the deck i hope you like it uh, please let me know what you think in the comments, but but be nice about it, right? Be, be, be kind with your words. <laughs> anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. I will see you next week for your weekly dose of magic.